Hey friends, welcome back. My name is Jane Sarche. I write recipes for a living. This is Myrtle, my cute little camper van. And in today's video, I thought I'd kind of walk you through my whole restocking and clearing out of my camper van, kitchen and pantry for a whole new year of camping adventures. And don't forget to thumbs up this video if I inspire you to go and dig out those mouldy packets of God knows what from the back of your cupboards and replace them with fresh. Okay, first up, let me show you all the little food stashes that I have dotted around my van. I am so lucky. I have got so much storage in this van. I'm really, really, really lucky. It's such a useful layout for storage. Uh, and yes, I'm a foodie, so I have food pretty much everywhere. So let me just walk you through all of that. So this is the fridge. Now, obviously, I only really use this when I'm away on a trip. Uh, I keep this tea towel in here. I put it underneath the food when I do go away and it absorbs any moisture that's in the fridge. And then I also use the tea towel to prop open the door after a trip just to let any moisture evaporate. Obviously, if you seal a fridge and there's moisture in there, it's just going to go mouldy and icky and gross. So I give it a quick spray and wipe down and that is the fridge done. These shelves, they store, among other things, my herbs, spices, salt, pepper, etc. And I'm actually planning to redo my whole spices and herbs the way that I carry them in the van, but that's a bigger project than I've got time for today. So we're just going to ignore the shelves and let's move swiftly on. Then I have this drawer and this is where I keep shelf stable foods that I use a lot. So things like cooking oil, rice pouches, a can or two of tuna and coconut milk. This is also where I put things like eggs and onions and garlic when I'm actually off on a trip. And then finally, in the back of this cupboard, this is my girl guide slash zombie prepper bag. <laughs> now the stuff in here stays in here all year round. It's the stuff I lean on when I'm away for an extra couple of days and I'm running out of fresh food, or perhaps I need to make an impromptu meal for friends, or I'm just escaping zombies, you know. And this bag is the main focus for my annual pantry spring clean. So the first thing I need to do is empty all the food out of the van. I clean out the drawers, give them a spray with bleach. I'm also checking for mouse droppings or gnawed packages of food as I go. Thankfully, I don't find any today, but I have done in the past. Then back in the kitchen, I go through all the food and anything that's out of date or close to its use by date stays in the kitchen and I use it up as soon as possible in day-to-day -day meals. I also clean anything that looks particularly grim, like what even is that? Blech. Now as I do this process at the beginning of every year, I like to put foods in the long-term bag or the zombie bag that have got a full year on the date. So I'm filming this February 2022, so anything that's got a date on it of 2023 then I'm good with. Everything else stays in the kitchen and I use it up from there. Then I write down a shopping list of all the things that I need to replace. And for the long term bag, I try and choose foods that are really high in calories and or protein. If you're just going to fill your cupboards up with pot noodles, then you're going to get really hungry really quickly. So canned oily fish like mackerel or salmon is an excellent choice, as is peanut butter, coconut milk, cooked legumes like lentils or chickpeas, things like that. Next, take your list and shop your kitchen cupboards first. Now, I actually got most of the stuff on my list this way and it saved me from running out to the store and buying more food than I actually needed. Just make sure you're checking the dates as you go and if they've got a good year on them, then they're in. I also like to write the expiry dates on top of cans just so it's easy to see at a glance which one you should use up first. And a quick note about best before and use by dates. When it comes to canned foods, I'm perfectly happy to eat a can of salmon or a tin of baked beans that's three years out of date. So long as the can is intact, it's not rusty, it's not dented, then I'm perfectly happy to consume that for myself. I'm obviously not going to feed it to people if I'm doing a food demo at a festival or something. But for me and Johnny, we're perfectly happy to eat out of date food. However, if you've got two cans of tuna and one is six months out of date and the other can has six months left in date, it just makes sense to use the old can first, right? That's just rotating your food stock and that just makes sense. As I'm clearing through all this stuff, I kind of noticed that this little baggie that's got some sachets of miso soup in, it looks like the plastic has been gnawed. Now it doesn't appear that they've munched on the miso inside and there weren't any droppings in the cupboard or in this bag, so it's all a bit weird. But just in case I bin the bag and then I wipe down the sachets that I was going to keep um, before I put them back in the van, just in case. And now the best bit. Let's go shopping. 
So I needed some kind of curry pastes. Um, I really like Thai green curry anyway, so that was easy. But I also like these small kind of pots because it's enough for one meal and it's not going to leave you with half a jar of leftover curry paste to work with. Uh, this one looks interesting too. I haven't tried this before and I bought it just because I wanted to try it. <laughs> Pasta sauces would be good if you're a fan and pouches of microwave rice, as you know, they're always a good idea as far as I'm concerned when you go camping. Nut butters are full of fat and protein and calories. And if the zombies really did invade, I would quite happily just sit and eat peanut butter straight from the jar with a spoon. No problemo. Now, personally, I'm not a fan of canned soup, but if you are, this would be a good choice. To bump up the calories in one of these cans, you could add some olive oil or some other fat if needed. And another quick note, only buy foods for your longest term storage that you actually enjoy eating. All of the stuff that I'm showing you that I've got in my house or in my van, it's foods that I enjoy eating and it will all get used, whether it's used in here in a zombie apocalypse <laughs> or it's just used in my kitchen next new year. It doesn't matter. It's not going to go to waste. It's going to get used. Pouches or tins of legumes are great as they're really high in protein. Obviously, tins are going to last much longer in storage than pouches are. And good old baked beans are a camping staple too. Uh, Bovril, I really like to drink this in hot water from a mug in cold weather. It really, really warms me up. It's high in protein. It's very high in salt as well. And look, these little olive snack packs are brilliant. They're really high in fat. Uh, they're really tasty and they are a really quick meal on the go. I also like to store a few bottles of water in the back of my cupboard. Now, obviously, from a plastic pollution point of view, this isn't great. Um, I don't drink them consistently, but they are kind of an emergency stash of water. Should I run out of water? Obviously, I know that they're there. But also I've given them to strangers that have broken down in hot weather before. And I also helped a young mum at a festival who cleaned the wounds of her little girl that she'd fallen over in the gravel and had gravel rash on her knee. So we were able to wash her wounds out. And I've obviously got a decent um, first aid kit in here as well. So we could patch her up and get her on her way and she was all happy again. Now, I didn't actually buy any water today because they only had really big cases of it. And I only want a few bottles, so I'll get, pick them up somewhere else. Now all that's left to do is pack up the van with my in-date goodies and then go and book my next camping trip. <laughs> There we are that's the end of today's video thanks again for hanging out with me today don't forget to like subscribe and go grab your free cookbook when as a thank you for signing up to my newsletter link below until next time guys happy camping Mwah. <laughs>